Hello and welcome to the Championship South Qualifier here in... Seven count there. This should be interesting. Picked it up. Knocks down seven pins there. We'll see what happens here. Got the spare. Left the 10 pin on that one. You see how often the 10 pin is converted 95% of the time. Hello and welcome to the Championship South Qualifier here in Tampa, Florida. Seven count there. We'll see what happens here. Easy conversion here in the first frame. Knocks down nine pins there, with just the six remaining. Doesn't get much easier than this. Six pin is picked up 97.5% of the time. Got the spare. Eight pins go down, leaving the three and six. Professional bowlers are awfully good spare shooters and will usually convert here. No problem. Beautiful execution on that shot. Strike. Two in a row now. Great execution on the last two shots. Now at two strikes in a row, will we see three? We just might. Takes out eight pins, leaving the one and two. This should be interesting. And a nice conversion there. shot there <laughs> two
two in a row now. Left the Greek church standing. Festo appears to slide that six pin so it ricochets off of the nine. With a lot of luck, it'll take out the four and seven. As you can see, this one is rarely picked up. You see the numbers, this is trouble. And the pins do not go down. Yeah, your ball placement has to be perfect, and that's not what we saw. That's the end of our broadcast, bowling fans, and what a night it was. We'll see you next time. Hello and welcome to the Championship South Qualifier here. Takes out eight pins, leaving the six and ten. Pros on tour will generally pick this one up. And that's a miss here in the first frame. It's too early to panic but you really can't afford many more of those. Beautiful execution on that shot. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. The five and six are left standing. Didn't get it done, Randy. That's one you'd like to have back. Just didn't put the ball where it needed to be. Take a look at the 10 pin party in the pit. Looking for two in a row. There's a nine count, just the five remaining. This one is rarely missed 97.5% conversion rate. Got the spare. up nine pins leaving the six 97.5 percent conversion rate here that's your tour average easy conversion there Hello and welcome to the Championship South Qualifier here. Knocks down eight pins, leaving the three and six. 
As our graphic shows, the pros will usually make this one. And a spare to open here. Seven count there. We'll see how they approach this. Easy conversion there. That's some pretty good pin action right there. down six here you see it's gonna take a good shot to convert this one fails to convert and left it open it was a nice effort just didn't put the ball where it needed to be Ooh, a little extra up in that shot there at the end Looking to keep it going here with two in a row. Got it! Just what you want to get it going on TV. The lights are on and the pressure is cranked up. Looking for three in a row now. Knocks down nine pins there. Just the five remaining. This one is rarely missed. 97.5% conversion rate. Got the spare. There's a nine count. Leaving the five. Got it. up nine pins leaving just the five gets the spare here eight pins go down leaving the three and six And no problem there. Takes out six pins. And that wraps things up for us, folks. We appreciate Hello and welcome to the Championship South Qualifier. Six count there. Tough deal here, but the pros do convert this over 30% of the time. Picked it up. Got a strike on the last turn. Two strikes in a row. 
And the string keeps going. Makes a nice shot there for a turkey. Knocks down eight pin, leaving the six and nine. This should be interesting. And a nice conversion there. Knocks down seven pins there. We'll see how they approach this. No problem. up nine pins, leaving the three. No problem on that one. Takes out nine pins with just the six remaining. Easy conversion there. Left the 10 on that one. Got the spare. Picks up eight pins, leaving the three and six. Wow, another incredible event comes to a close here. Thank you for joining us, and have a great night. Hello and welcome to the Championship South Qualifier here. The five and six are left standing. Could not convert the spare here in the first frame. Yeah, the nerves can really affect you, especially early in the match. Knocks down nine pins there, leaving the three. Tour average for the three pin conversion, 96%. And no problem there. Picks up seven pins. And a nice conversion there. Yes, sir! Trying to get a streak going here. Picks up eight pins, leaving the five and nine. Easy conversion there. Oh. 
There's no room on the deck after that shot, folks. Two strikes in a row. There's a nine count, leaving just the five. Got the spare. Seven count there, leaving the three, six, ten. Gets the spare here. Left the ten pin on that one. Got it. Picks up nine pins, leaving just the nine. Wow, another incredible event comes to a close here. Hello and welcome to the Championship South Qualifier here. That's how you start. Left the 310. Two ways to make it. Knock the three into the 10 or the higher percentage play deflect the ball off the three pin so that it takes out the 10. Here you see the conversion percentage on the baby split, 56.7%. Does not get the spare. Baby splits are ones you gotta convert. Tough break right there. Picks up six there. Pros will make this more than half the time. Easy conversion there. Knocks down seven pins there. We'll see what happens here. It's just getting tougher and tougher. How do you recover, Randy? Well, sometimes you can't. You're just off your game. Knocks down eight pins, leaving the six and ten. As our graphic shows, the pros will usually make this one. Nice use of the special ball there. Absolutely. On a split like that, you have to break out the special ball, if you have one. Takes out seven pins, leaving the six, nine, ten. Pros on tour will generally pick this one up. No problem on that one. Eight pins go down, leaving the six and ten. And a nice conversion there.
Hello and welcome to the Championship South Qualifier here in... Picks up seven pins. We'll see what happens here. And gets the spare early here. Yes, sir! <laughs> Trying to get a streak going here. Thought they were all going in the pit, but the 10 stands. Ninety-five percent is your tour average for the 10 pin. Easy conversion there. The pins, Randy, didn't have a chance on that one. That's dirty. Just dirty. Another strike. Two in a row now. Great execution on the last two shots. Working off a double now. Knocks down eight pin, leaving the three and six. Good chance of a conversion here. No problem. Knocks down only five pins there. We'll see how they handle this. Oh, missed it! What happened there, Randy? Not sure. Maybe a little frustration carrying over from not getting that strike. There's a nine count. Leaving the nine. No problem on that one. Oh. 
picks up nine pins, leaving just the four. And no problem there. Takes out nine pin, leaving just the six. And a nice conversion there. Takes out eight pins, leaving the five and nine. Well, another exciting night of bowling has come to a close. Thanks so much. Hello and welcome to the Championship South Qualifier. And the 10 will not go down. The 10 pin gets converted 95% of the time. And a spare to open here. There's a nine count, just the five remaining. Pros on tour make this bear over 97% of the time. No problem on that one. Knocks down nine pins there, leaving the five. This one is rarely missed. 97.5% conversion rate. Gets the spare here. Great pin action there. Takes out nine pin, leaving just the five. No problem. How about that? Knocks down eight pins, leaving the five and nine. Easy conversion there. Picks up nine pins, just the five remaining. Got the spare. There you go. Another strike. Two in a row now. Great execution on the last two shots. You get three strikes and you're not out. down seven pins there. Well, another exciting night of bowling has come to a close. Thanks so much for joining us.
Hello and welcome to the Championship South Qualifier here. the 10 pin on that one. 95% is your tour average for the 10 pin. A spare to start things off. Well, that was perfect. Dead solid perfect. shot right there going for the ham bone now Randy looking really good here nice streak going another strike ham bone going for the five bagger five strikes in a row Looking for six strikes in a row. Left the 10 on that one. You see how often the 10 pin is converted 95% of the time. Uses the special ball and gets the conversion. Great execution on that one. Knocks down eight pin, leaving the six and ten. Good chance of making this one. Easy conversion there. Oh, yes, ten in the pit. off three strikes in a row there's a 7-10 split ouch ouch is right left the goal post there and unless you use the split ball the best chance is to throw the high hard one hoping for a lucky bounce that brings us to the end of another night of outstanding competition we'd like to thank our viewers for tuning in We've got a good one coming up, folks. We're here in Tampa, Florida. Takes out eight pins, leaving the six and nine. We'll see how they handle this. And a spare to open here. Here's Jesper Svensson. You like the ink. You like his attitude. You like the RPMs. He's just a great kid, too. But not only that, he's a phenomenal talent and a lot of fun to watch. Knocks down seven pins there, leaving the 247. Good chance of a conversion here. Not a good start to this one. Yeah, and you know, you really hate to see that.
That ball went through the pins with bad intentions. That shot punched the words right out of me. Got it! Just what you want to get it going on TV. The lights are on, and the pressure is cranked up. Got a strike on the last turn. And down for two in a row. Great release. Now that's how you execute. Looking for three in a row now. There's a nine count, leaving just the four. As close to automatic as it gets with a 98% conversion rate. Easy conversion there. Now at two strikes in a row, will we see three? We just might. Picks up nine pins, leaving the nine. There you see the conversion percentage on the nine pin. 97.5% tour average. No problem. Our graphic here shows the potential max score. Great pin action there. Yes, there you go. Trying for the double now. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. Two strikes in a row. Looking for another strike now to get that turkey. And the string keeps going. Makes a nice shot there for a turkey. We'll try and make it three in a row here. one standing 93% conversion rate on the seven that's your tour average and no problem there here's the breakdown of strikes on each lane Eight pins go down, leaving the six and seven. Three percent conversion rate is the tour average for the six seven. So leaves the frame open. Time to regroup and focus on your next frame. Trying to keep this strike streak alive, going for the hammer. Knocks down nine pins there, just the five remaining. This one is rarely missed. 97.5% conversion rate. Got it. You see your max scores here. Takes out seven pins, leaving the 3 6 10. Gets the spare here. And the 10 will not go down. 
The 10 pin gets converted 95% of the time. Got the spare. Takes out nine pin, leaving just the six. No problem on that one. There's no room on the deck after that shot, folks. The five and ten remain standing. And a nice conversion there. Beautiful shot there. Well, another exciting night of bowling has come to a close. Thanks so much. We've got a good one coming up, folks. We're here in Tampa. That's how you start. Jacob Buttruff up now, and watch the way he holds the ball on the approach. It looks odd, it looks impossible, and he can only do it because he has something called hypermobility, which a lot of people refer to as double jointed. Knocks down six. We'll see how they approach this. Could not convert the spare here in the first frame. Yeah, the nerves can really affect you, especially early in the match. There's a nine count, leaving just the six. 97.5% conversion rate here. That's your tour average. Gets the spare here. Trying for the double now. Knocks him down for two in a row. Great release. Now that's how you execute. For the turkey. Great pin action there. Looking to keep it going here with two in a row. Just what you want to get it going on TV. The lights are on and the pressure is cranked up. Working off a triple, trying to make it a ham bone. Takes out eight pins, leaving the three and six. As you can see, players on the tour are likely to convert here. And a nice conversion there. Here you see the max score each player can get. Left the 10 pin on that one. You see how often the 10 pin is converted 95% of the time. Nice use of the special ball there. Absolutely, on a split like that, you have to break out the special ball, if you have one. Already with the double, looking for a triple. 
Someone is heating up. And the string keeps going. Makes a nice shot there for a turkey. The turkey has been served. We're looking for the ham bone course right now. Knocks down nine pins there with just the six remaining. Doesn't get much easier than this. Six pin is picked up 97.5% of the time. No problem. Picks up nine pins, leaving just the three. Tour average for the three pin conversion, 96%. Got the spare. Takes out nine pin, leaving just the four. Easy conversion there. Oh, the ten stand. 95% is your tour average for the 10 pin. No problem on that one. He's making his approach. That, my friends, was a nice looking strike. That got down the lane in a hurry. It was a full rack attack once the ball got to the pins. There you see the max scores. Got a strike on the last turn. Six count there. Extremely difficult shot here. Can't clean off the plate. Not surprising at all. That is a difficult mess to clean up. Looking for the double. Eight pins go down, leaving the two and four. Got it. Tenth frame now, and a chance to close out his opponent. Oh yes, ten in the pit. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. He will look to close this out here in the tenth. Working off a double now. Seven pins here, and it's over. Jacob Buttrup has won this match. That shot punched the words right out of me. There's a nine count with just the eight remaining. Uses the special ball and gets the conversion. Great execution on that one. And that wraps things up for us, folks. We appreciate you joining us.
We've got a good one coming up, folks. We're here in Tampa, Florida for the Championship South Finals. Rob Stone here, along with my colleague, the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. Hello and welcome to the Championship East Qualifier here in Lewisburg, West Virginia. I'm Rob Stone and I'll be covering all the action here along with the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. Folks have been looking forward to this one for a long time. Randy, what's... <laughs> Takes out seven pins, leaving the one, two, eight. Really good chance we'll see a conversion on this one. Easy conversion here in the first frame. A nice release on that shot, and the result was perfect. Got a strike on the last turn. Picks up six there. Far from automatic, but pros can convert here. Got it. Picks up nine pins, leaving the two. The two pin gets converted just over 90% of the time. And no problem there. Trying to get a streak going here. The seven pin holds, will not go down. Fails to pick it up. Big mistake there. I don't know if the release was off or what, but that had no chance. Nice looking strike there. Looking for the double. There's a nine count, leaving the four. Got it with the special ball. Man, I wish we had those when I was bowling. Good-looking shot there, and a solid strike. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. Knocks down nine pins there, leaving just the four. Gets the spare here. And the seven does not go down. Now we hope you enjoyed this fabulous night of bowling as much as we did. Hello and welcome to the Championship Central Qual. Picks up 
picks up nine pins, leaving the five. You see the conversion rate there for the five pin, 97.5%. Starts things off with a spare. Great pin action there. Takes out just five pins. Pros will make this more than half the time. Got it with the special ball. Man, I wish we had those when I was bowling. Oh, the 10 stand. 95% is your tour average for the 10 pin. Got the spare. There's a nine count, leaving just the eight. And a nice conversion there. Delivery for the strike. Trying for the double now. Knocks down six. Take a look at the tour average here. Decent shot at making this one. And cannot pick it up. That's one you wish you could have back. Takes out eight pins, leaving the two and eight. Easy conversion there. That got down the lane in a hurry. It was a full rack attack once the ball got to the pins. Trying to get a streak going here. Got it! You get three strikes and you're not out! Trying to keep this strike streak alive. That's a ham bone. The question now is, can you maintain this pace and intensity? Well, we've reached the conclusion of our event on... Hello and welcome to the Championship Central Qualifier. Gets it going here with the strike. Nice way to start. Got a strike on the last turn. Two strikes in a row. Knocks down eight pins, leaving the two and four. Good chance of a conversion here. Gets the spare here. Ooh, a little extra oof in that shot there at the end. Trying for the double now. Two in a row now. Looking for three in a row now. Three in a row. 
for the turkey. Looking for the ham bone now. I mean, it's starting to get hot in here. Takes out nine pin, leaving just the four. As close to automatic as it gets with a 98% conversion rate. No problem. Perfect delivery for the strike. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. There's a nine count, leaving the three. Pros on the tour make this spare 96% of the time. And a nice conversion there. Picks up eight pin, leaving the three and six. And no problem there. Well, that was perfect. Dead solid perfect. Well, another exciting night of bowling has come to a close. Hello and welcome to the Championship Central. Picks up seven pins, leaving the one, two, eight. As our graphic shows, the pros will usually make this one. Picked it up, no problem here in the first frame. Nice looking strike there. Six count there. Odds are pretty decent. Will we see a conversion here? Uses the special ball and gets the conversion. Great execution on that one. Oh yes, 10 in the pit. Trying for the double now. Seven count there, leaving the six, nine, ten. Good chance of making this one. That's how you do it. Absolutely. On a split like that, you break out the special ball, if you have it. Good looking shot there, and a solid strike. Looking for two in a row. Two in a row now. Now at two strikes in a row, will we see three? We just might. Oh, just sailing along right now. Trying to keep this strike streak alive, going for the hammer. Hambo! That's what it looks like when you start getting into the zone. Picks up eight pins, leaving the one and two. We'll see what happens here. Got it. Oh, 
Takes out six pins. And that wraps things up for us, folks. We appreciate you joining us. Hello and welcome to the Championship East Qualifier. Picks up eight pins, leaving the one and two. We'll see what happens here. Picked it up. That got down the lane in a hurry. It was a full rack attack once the ball got to the pins. There's a nine count, leaving just the six. Ninety-seven point five percent conversion rate here. That's your tour average. No problem on that one. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. Picks up nine pins, leaving just the five. Pros on tour make this fair over 97% of the time. And no problem there. Take a look at the 10 pin party in the pit. Ryan for the double now. Knocks him down for two in a row. Great release. Now that's how you execute. Working off a double now. And the string keeps going. Makes a nice shot there for a turkey. down nine pins there, leaving just the two. Easy conversion there. Good looking shot there, and a solid strike. Got a strike on the last turn. and make it three in a row here. You get three strikes and you're not out. That's the end of our broadcast, bowling fans, and what a night it was. Hello and welcome to the Championship East Qualifier. Thought that was going to be a strike, but the seven would not go down. 93% conversion rate on the seven pin. Picked it up. No problem here in the first frame. Leaves the 10 there.
The 10 pin gets converted 95% of the time. Uses the special ball and gets the conversion. Great execution on that one. That ball went through the pins with bad intentions. Got a strike on the last turn. Looking for three in a row now. There's another strike. Working off three strikes in a row. Hambone it is. Working off the hambone. Will we see five in a row? I wouldn't bet against it. And there's the five-bagger. We're seeing a lot of confidence and some great shot-making here. Five in a row and looking for more. Brings down the hammer again. Another strike. Looking for another strike. This just keeps getting better and better. Got it! The seven-bagger. Working off a seven-bagger now. It takes out seven pins. Gets the spare here. down six wow another incredible event comes to a Hello and welcome to the Championship East Qualifier here in Lewisburg, West Virginia. I'm Rob Stone and I'll be covering all the action here along with the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. Folks have been looking forward to this one for a long time. Randy, what's the... There's a nine count. Leaving the six. Doesn't get much easier than this. Six pin is picked up 97.5% of the time. Starts things off with a spare. Takes out seven pins. Tough deal here. Rarely converted, as you can see. Can't clean off the plate. Not surprising at all. That is a difficult mess to clean up. Takes out nine pin, leaving just the six. Six pin should not be a problem with a 97.5% conversion rate on the tour. Easy conversion there. That shot punched the words right out of me. Looking to keep it going here with two in a row. Knocks down seven pins there, leaving the one, two, eight. Good chance of making this one. And a nice conversion there. Trying for the double now. Got it! Yeah. 
looking for three in a row now. Strikes again. Feeling it now. Trying to keep this strike streak alive. Going for the hammer. Another strike. Hambo! Going for the five bagger. The strikes just keep coming. Five in a row now. The six back in the zone. Will we see seven strikes in a row? I'm not doubting anything at this point. Knocks down six. That brings us to the end of another night of outstanding. Hi, folks. We got a good one brewing here at the Grove City Open here in Grove City, Ohio. Rob Stone here along with my colleague, the Hall of Famer. The five and ten remain standing. and a spare to open here. Takes out eight pins, leaving the five and nine. This should be interesting. Got the spare. Just a five count there. We'll see what happens here. Something went wrong on that one, Randy. Yeah, you just got to be more accurate than that to have any chance in these competitions. Yes, sir! Looking for the double. Got it! Looking to keep it going with the triple. Knocks down nine pins there with just the six remaining. 97.5% conversion rate here. That's your tour average. No problem. Picks up nine pins, leaving the six. Got it. Great pin action there. Looking to keep it going here with two in a row. Oh, left one standing. And no problem there. Nice release on that shot, and the result was perfect. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. Takes out six pins.
and cannot pick it up. That's one you wish you could have back. Wow, another incredible event comes to a close. Hi folks, we got a good one brewing here at the Grove City Open here in Grove City, Ohio. Rob Stone here along with my colleague, the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. Folks have been looking forward to this one for a long time. Randy, what's the winning formula for these competitors? You want to get on an early roll if you can and stick with what's working. The competitors are ready to go, so we're going to bring the action to you right now. First frame, strike, no problem. Trying for the double now. Knocks him down for two in a row. Great release. Now that's how you execute. Now at two strikes in a row, will we see three? We just might. Oh, just sailing along right now. The turkey has been served. We're looking for the ham bone course right now. Another strike. Ham bone! The hot hand is ready to go here. Picks up eight pins, leaving the six and nine. We'll see how they approach this. Got it. Well, that just stopped the pins all the way down the lane. Looking for the double. Takes out nine pin, leaving the four. Statistically, this is the easiest spare to convert on the tour. 98%. No problem. Ooh, a little extra oomph in that shot there at the end. Trying to get a streak going here. Got it! Looking to keep it going with the triple. And the 10 will not go down. 95% is your tour average for the 10 pin. Gets the spare here. Beautiful execution on that shot. That's the end of our broadcast, bowling fans, and what a night it was. We'll see you next time. It's time for the championship central finals here. First frame, strike, no problem. 
Here's Kyle Troop. This guy loves the bright lights of being on TV. He's quite the showman. Looking good out of the gate, Randy. So far, so good. Trying for the double now. Picks up nine pins with just the four remaining. Statistically, this is the easiest spare to convert on the tour, 98%. Got the spare. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. And there's the double. Already has two strikes, looking for a third. Takes out nine pin, leaving the four. As close to automatic as it gets with a 98% conversion rate. And no problem there. That shot punched the words right out of me. Looking for the double. Got it! A nice release on that shot. And the result was perfect. Our graphic here shows the potential max score. Looking to keep it going here with two in a row. Seven count there. As you can see, this one is rarely picked up. Can't clean off the plate. Not surprising at all. That is a difficult mess to clean up. Looking to keep it going with the triple. There's a nine count, leaving just the nine. Pros convert the nine pin 97.5% of the time. Easy conversion there. Let's see what he can do here. Knocks down nine pins there, leaving just the four. It doesn't get any easier than the four pin for the professionals on the tour. Gets the spare here. Well, that just stocked the pins all the way down the lane. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. Picks up nine pins, just the five remaining. Pros on tour make this pair over 97% of the time. Got it. He's ready in making his approach. Takes out nine pin with just the four remaining. No problem on that one. And that shot there at the end. Thought 
thought that was going to be a strike, but the seven would not go down. The pros will usually make this one. No problem. There you see the max scores. There's no room on the deck after that shot, folks. Trying to get a streak going here. Left the seven pin there. And a nice conversion there. Now he has an opportunity to close this one out. There's a nine count, leaving the four. Despair. He's ready now. Knocks down nine pins there with just the nine remaining. The pressure is on him here under the hot lights. Looking for the win. Looking for two in a row. He controls his destiny here in the tent. Two strikes in a row. Must strike here for the win. Looking for three in a row now. Must strike here for the win. He has wrapped it up with that one. Working off a triple, trying to make it a ham bone. Great release on that one. Very nice. Well, we've reached the conclusion of our event. On behalf of my partner, Randy Peterson... It's time for the championship central finals here in Fort Wayne. A good start right there. Yeah, nice start. Strong right out of the gate. Marshall Kent up now. We were there when he won his fourth career title back in 2017, defeating Chris Barnes on national television in that title match of the Oklahoma Open. There's a nine count, leaving the three. Pros on the tour make this spare 96% of the time. And a spare to open here. Knocks down nine pins there, leaving just the three. Tour average for the three-pin conversion, 96%. And a nice conversion there. Struck in the last frame, 
Looking for the double here. Left the 10 on that one. Looking for three in a row now. Oh, just sailing along right now. A nice release on that shot, and the result was perfect. Trying for the double now. Left the 310. Two ways to make it. Knock the three into the 10, or the higher percentage play, deflect the ball off the three pin so that it takes out the 10. Here's your tour average on the 310, converted 56.7% of the time. Does not get the spare. Baby splits are ones you gotta convert. Tough break right there. Looking for the ham bone here. Four strikes in a row. Picks up nine pins with just the six remaining. Six pins should not be a problem with a 97.5% conversion rate on the tour. Easy conversion there. You see your max scores here. Picks up eight pins, leaving the one and two. Got it. Picks up seven pins. You see here, this is not going to be easy. Picked it up. Wow. Yeah, that's some great bowling right there. Takes out nine pin with just the two remaining. No problem. There's a nine count. Leaving the sixth. Doesn't get much easier than this. Six pin is picked up 97.5% of the time. Got the spare. Right at it. Punches 10 back into the pit. Ten in the pit. Got a strike on the last turn. Seven count there. Nothing going right at this point. What's happening? Rob, it's simple. Lack of focus and concentration. Looking for two in a row. And there's the double. Here you see the max score each player can get. Already with the double, looking for a triple. Someone is heating up. And the string keeps going. He comes through and takes home the victory. There's a strike.
Looking to keep it going here with two in a row. Got it! Already has two strikes, looking for a third. You get three strikes and you're not out. Going for the ham bone now, Randy. Looking really good here. Nice streak going. There's a 7-10 split. Ouch. Ouch is right. Left the goal post there, and unless she used the split ball, the best chance is to throw the high hard one, hoping for a lucky bounce. Working off three strikes in a row. And the 10 will not go down. No problem on that one. Eight pins go down, leaving the four and ten. Well, we've reached the conclusion of our event. On behalf of my partner, Randy Peterson, I'm Rob Stone. Keep on rolling. Hello, we're glad you could join us for the East Grand Championship Qualifier here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Thrilled you're here with us today. Rob Stone and the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson with you. Wow, you can really feel the excitement with these competitors. Randy, what are your thoughts about tonight? First frame, strike, no problem. Trying to get a streak going here. A seven and eight do not go down. Does not pick it up. Just a little off there. Wow, tremendous bowling right there. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. Knocks down six. We'll see how they approach this. No problem on that one. There's no room on the deck after that shot, folks. Looking for two in a row. Picks up eight pins, leaving the one and two. What will happen here? Got the spare. Picks up seven pins. Hello, we're glad you could join us for the East Grand.
Hawks down six. We'll see how they approach this. Disappointing start here, Randy. Well, sometimes you get all jacked up early on. You gotta somehow relax and let your talent take over. That got down the lane in a hurry. It was a full rack attack once the ball got to the pins. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. Two in a row now. There's a nine count with just the four remaining. As close to automatic as it gets with a 98% conversion rate. No problem. The pinch just took a beat down on that one. Got a strike on the last turn. down for two in a row. Great release. Now that's how you execute. Now at two strikes in a row, will we see three? We just might. The strike train rolls on. Looking for the ham bone here. Four strikes in a row. Streak continues with four strikes in a row. Call it a hambo. Going for the five bagger. Takes out six pins. Extremely difficult shot here. Can't clean off the plate. Not surprising at all. That is a difficult mess to clean up. Wow, tremendous bowling right there. Another strike. Two in a row now. Great execution on the last two shots. Already with the double, looking for a triple. Someone is heating up. And the 10 will not go down. Well, we've reached the conclusion of our event. On behalf of my partner, Randy Peterson, I'm... Hello, we're glad you could join us for the East. <laughs> Opens with the strike. Yeah, nice delivery on that one. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. And there's the double. Another strike. <laughs> Trying to keep this strike streak alive, going for the hambo. Great release on that one. Very nice. Looking to keep the streak alive, going for five in a row. 
really on a roll now after that one. Yeah, this is just filthy. Looking for six strikes in a row. Picks up six there. We'll see how they handle this. Went for it, but could not pick it up. That one a bit a heck of a conversion. Beautiful execution on that shot. Left the 10 pin on that one. The 10 pin gets converted 95% of the time. Gets the spare here. And that pin will not go down. Ninety five percent is your tour average for the ten pin. And no problem there. Nice shot. Looking for the double. Another strike. Two in a row now. Great execution on the last two shots. Already with the double, looking for a triple. Someone is heating up. You get three strikes and you're not out. Wow, another incredible event comes to a close here. Thank you for joining us, and have a great night. Hello, we're glad you could join us for the East... Eight, ten split, still standing. What do you do here? Well, the split ball gives you the best chance for sure. It is possible to slide the eight into the ten, but it's really, really difficult. You see the numbers. This is trouble. Well, a less than perfect start to this one. The key is to not let it snowball from there. Refocus and move on to the next shot. There's a nine count. Leaving just the eight. The eight pin gets picked up over 95% of the time by the pros on the tour. Nice use of the special ball there. Absolutely. On a split like that, you have to break out the special ball if you have one. Picks up nine pins with just the four remaining. As close to automatic as it gets with a 98% conversion rate. to pick it up big mistake there i don't know if the release was off or what but that had no chance wow tremendous bowling right there looking for the double Just what you want to get it going on TV. The lights are on and the pressure is cranked up. Knocks down nine pins there, leaving the four. Statistically, this is the easiest spare to convert on the tour, 98%. Got it. Takes out nine pin, leaving just the four. 
it doesn't get any easier than the four pin for the professionals on the tour. No problem. Right at it. Punches 10 back into the pit. There's a nine count with just the four remaining. Gets the spare here. That was nasty. I mean, that is just pure filth going through the pin. Try and make it three in a row here. Three in a row for the turkey. Wow, another incredible event comes to a close here. Thank you for joining us and have a great night. Hello, we're glad you could join us for the East Grand Championship Qualifier here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. I'm Rob Stone, and I'll be covering all the action here along with the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. Every bowler on the PBA Tour is top tier. What does it take to win? Well, qualifying on the PBA Tour is kind of like running a marathon. you got to stay in the pack and then sprint to the finish line when the time is right. Randy with the nice analysis. Let's see what happens tonight, starting right now. Gets it going here with the strike. Nice way to start. Another strike. Two in a row now. Great execution on the last two shots. Already has two strikes. Looking for a third. Three in a row for the turkey. The question now is, can you maintain this pace and intensity? Going for the five-bagger. Knocks down eight pin, leaving the six and ten. Pros on tour will generally pick this one up. Got it. up seven pins leaving the 3610 as you can see players on the tour are likely to convert here no problem on that one that shot punched the words right out of me
Two in a row now. Oh, just sailing along right now. Looking for the ham bone here. Four strikes in a row. There's the four bagger. I mean, ham bone. Knocks down six. Pros will make this more than half the time. Gets the spare here. And that wraps things up for us, folks. We appreciate you joining us. Hello, we're glad you could join us for the East Grand Championship. Gets the strike to start it off. There's a nice shot and a nice result. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. Six, seven, ten left on that one. Good spot for the split ball. Otherwise, you have to cut the six pin just enough, slide it into the seven, and the ball will take out the ten. Six, seven, ten is a tough deal. Converted only 10.7% of the time. That's how you do it. Absolutely. On a split like that, you break out the special ball, if you have it. Knocks down nine pins there with just the four remaining. Statistically, this is the easiest spare to convert on the tour, 98%. Easy conversion there. Knocks down six. Come up with the spare. It's a rare thing to see anyone pick that up. Just got to move on. That shot could not have been better. Oh, the 10 stands. You see how often the 10 pin is converted 95% of the time. No problem. Picks up nine pins, leaving the four. I mean, that is just pure filth going through the pin. Knocks him down for two in a row. Great release. Now that's how you execute. Three in a row for the turkey. Takes out nine pin, just the five remaining. Gets the spare here. Wow, another incredible event comes to a close here.
Thank you for joining us. Hello, we're glad you could join us for the East Grand Champion. That's how you start. for three in a row now. There's another strike. Going for the hand bone now, Randy. Looking really good here. Nice streak going. Hand bone! That's what it looks like when you start getting into the zone. in a row. Working off five in a row now. Impressive performance so far. There's the six back. In the zone. There's another seven straight. We've got a strike fest going on here, folks. Now we'll see if the streak stays alive. I wouldn't bet against it. Keeps it going. Great start to this match. Looking real good right now. Currently working off an eight bagger to start this match. It's been amazing to watch. That's a nine bagger, folks. Really solid, impressive performance going on. Working off nine strikes in a row to open this match. Never too early to start talking about a perfect game. And the pins keep falling. Two to go. Oh, yeah. The ball ended up in a perfect spot. Working off a ten-bagger to open up here. This is a pro on top of their game. One away, one more for a 300 game. History in the making. One strike away from perfection. Wow, feel that tension. There it is, a perfect game, one for the history book. Wow, amazing effort right there. All right, that'll do it, folks. We hope you enjoyed all the bowling tonight. Take care. Hi, folks. We're happy to bring you all the action here at the East Grand Championship. Gets it going here with the strike. Nice way to start. Now up, one of the best, Tommy Jones. This guy ranked 30th on the list of 50 greatest players in PBA history back in 2009. Opens with the strike. Yeah, nice delivery on that one. 
trying to get a streak going here. Picks up eight pins, leaving the four and ten. Four point five percent tour average on the four ten. Tough split to convert. Looked like it had a shot, but does not convert there. Yeah, you have to be perfect and a little lucky to pick that one up. Trying for the double now. Takes out seven pins. You see the numbers. This is trouble. Use of the special ball there. Absolutely. On a split like that, you have to break out the special ball if you have one. Oh, yes. Ten in the pit. Let's see what he does here. Seven count there. Convert. Yeah, that's not an easy one to pick up. A nice release on that shot, and the result was perfect. Got a strike on the last turn. Does not go down. The seven is left standing. 93% conversion rate on the seven. That's your tour average. Easy conversion there. There you see the max scores. Knocks down seven pins there, leaving the 3 6 10. Professional bowlers are awfully good spare shooters and will usually convert here. Got the spare. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. And the 10 will not go down. You see how often the 10 pin is converted 95% of the time. And no problem there. Yes, there you go. I mean, that is just pure filth going through the pin. Another strike. Two in a row now. Great execution on the last two shots. Looking to keep it going here with two in a row. Knocks him down for two in a row. Great release. Now that's how you execute. Now at two strikes in a row, will we see three? We just might. Picks up seven pins. You can see just how tough this is. Yeah. 
so that will be an open frame. That's one you're just not going to see converted very often. Looking for three in a row now. The strike train rolls on. Our graphic here shows the potential max score. Working off a turkey, trying to upgrade to a ham bone. Ham bone! That's what it looks like when you start getting into the zone. There's a nine count, leaving the four. No problem. That was going to be a strike, but the seven would not go down. The pros will usually make this one. Whoa, a gutter ball. You can't expect to win at this level doing that. And cannot pick it up. That's one you wish you could have back. Working off the ham bone. Will we see five in a row? I wouldn't bet against it. Really on a roll now after that one. Yeah, this is just filthy. The strike streak is at five right now. This is what it looks like when you have the hot hand. Perfection. Got it. Got the six back. Another perfect shot right there. Looking for seven straight now. Got it. The seven back. That brings us to the end of another night of outstanding competition. We'd like to thank our viewers for tuning in. Hi, folks. We're happy to bring you all the action here at the East. Takes out eight pins, leaving the two and four. Good chance of making this one. And a spare to open here. Here's Jesper's Svensson. You like the ink. You like his attitude. You like the RPMs. He's just a great kid, too. But not only that, he's a phenomenal talent and a lot of fun to watch. First frame, strike, no problem. Trying for the double now. Takes out nine pin, leaving just the nine. The nine pin is not missed very often. 97.5% conversion rate. Got it. Well, that was perfect. Dead solid perfect.
Got a strike on the last turn. Got it! Just what you want to get it going on TV. The lights are on, and the pressure is cranked up. Picks up seven pins. Could not convert. Yeah, that's not an easy one to pick up. Picks up eight pins, leaving the four and ten. 4.5% tour average on the 410. Tough split to convert. Fails to convert and left it open. It was a nice effort, just didn't put the ball where it needed to be. Looking for another strike now to get that turkey. Knocks down nine pins there, leaving the four. Statistically, this is the easiest spare to convert on the tour, 98%. And no problem there. Our graphic here shows the potential max score. Good looking shot there, and a solid strike. Eight pins go down, leaving the six and eight. Left another open frame. Man, this is getting ugly. Ugly indeed, with a capital U. Take a look at the 10 bid party in the pit. Looking to keep it going here with two in a row. Got it! Already has two strikes, looking for a third. The strike train rolls on. Looking for the double. Working off a double now. Three in a row for the turkey. Looking for the ham bone here. Four strikes in a row. Left the 10 pin on that one. Ninety-five percent is your tour average for the ten pin. Easy conversion there. Here's the max scores if both players strike out. 
knocks down seven pins there. And a big mistake there. Those are the kind of mistakes that can cost you the win. Working off a triple, trying to make it a ham bone. Left one standing. Got the spare. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, the 10 stand. You see how often the 10 pin is converted 95% of the time. And a nice conversion there. And the seven does not go down. There's a nine count, leaving just the eight. No problem on that one. There's no room on the deck after that shot, folks. Well, another exciting night of bowling has come to a close. Thanks so much for joining us. Greetings, bowling fans. We're here at the Fayetteville Open. First frame, strike, no problem. Looking for the double. Picks up six there, leaving the one three six ten. We'll see how they handle this. Got the spare. That got down the lane in a hurry. It was a full rack attack once the ball got to the pins. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. Got it! Just what you want to get it going on TV. The lights are on, and the pressure is cranked up. Looking for another strike now to get that turkey. Strikes again. Feeling it now. Working off a turkey, trying to upgrade to a ham bone. Knocks down eight pin, leaving the three and six. Statistically, this is not that difficult to convert. Got it. Oh. 
picks up nine pins, leaving the five. You see the conversion rate there for the five pin, 97.5%. No problem. Knocks down nine pins there, leaving the nine. And a nice conversion there. Picks up seven pins. You see the numbers. This is trouble. Can't come up with the spare. It's a rare thing to see anyone pick that up. Just got to move on. The pinch just took a beat down on that one. Looking for two in a row. There's a nine count, leaving just the six. Gets the spare here. All right, that'll do it, folks. We hope you enjoyed all the bowling tonight. Take Greetings, bowling fans. We're here at the Fayetteville Open. In Gets it going here with the strike. Nice way to start. Got a strike on the last turn. Picks up six there. We'll see how they approach this. And cannot pick it up. That's one you wish you could have back. Knocks down nine pins there, leaving the five. You see the conversion rate there for the five pin, 97.5%. No problem on that one. Takes out six pins. Odds are pretty decent. Will we see a conversion here? Frustration has to be settling in. I think now might be a good time to... Greetings, bowling fans. We're here at the Fayetteville Open in beautiful Fayetteville, North Carolina. I'm Rob Stone. This is my partner, the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. All right, Randy, tell me, what was your approach to events like this? Picks up seven pins. Professional bowlers are awfully good spare shooters and will usually convert here. And a spare to open here. Knocks down seven pins there, leaving the 3 6 10. Good chance of a conversion here. Got 
to spare. The two and ten don't go down. How do you pick this one up, Randy? Throw a straight ball at the left side of the two pin, hurl it over into the ten pin, voila. This is one you're hoping not to see, but it can be done. Could not convert the two ten split. You know, maybe they should have gone with the split ball. There's a nine count. Just the five remaining. You see the conversion rate there for the five pin, 97.5%. Greetings, bowling fans. We're here at the Fayetteville Open in beautiful Fayetteville, North Carolina. Seven count there, leaving the 6-9-10. Pros on tour will generally pick this one up. Starts things off with a spare. Takes out eight pins leaving the six and nine. We'll see how they handle this. Gets the spare here. Leaves the 10 there. You see how often the 10 pin is converted 95% of the time. No problem. Eight pins go down, leaving the six and nine. And no problem there. Five ten split. To convert here, you want to hit the left side of the five pin and knock it into the ten. Not that difficult if you're accurate. And a nice conversion there. There's a nine count, leaving just the six. Nice use of the special ball there. Absolutely. On a split like that, you have to break out the special ball if you have one. Greetings, bowling fans. We're here at the Fayetteville Open. A good start right there. Yeah, nice start. Strong right out of the gate. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. Leaves the seven there. 
93% conversion rate on the seven, that's your tour average. And no problem there. Picks up six there. And a big mistake there. Those are the kind of mistakes that can cost you the win. That shot could not have been better. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. Knocks him down for two in a row. Great release. Now that's how you execute. Now at two strikes in a row, will we see three? We just might. Takes out nine pin, leaving the three. Tour average for the three pin conversion, 96%. the spare leave the 10 pin the 10 pin gets converted 95% of the time no problem Seven count there. A very low conversion rate here. Fails to convert and left it open. It was a nice effort, just didn't put the ball where it needed to be. Knocks down nine pins there, leaving just the nine. Easy conversion there. Picks up nine pins, leaving the five. And a nice conversion there. The pinch just took a beat down on that one. And that wraps things up for us, folks. We appreciate you. Greetings, bowling fans. We're here at the Fayetteville Open in beautiful. Oh, the 10 stand. The 10 pin gets converted 95% of the time. Picked it up. No problem here in the first frame. Takes out seven pins, leaving the six, nine, ten. Pros on tour will generally pick this one up. Easy conversion there.
Hawks down six. Take a look at the tour average here. Decent shot at making this one. Got it. That was nasty. I mean, that is just pure filth going through the pins. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. Picks up eight pins, leaving the three and six. Got the spare. Seven count there, leaving the three, six, ten. No problem on that one. There's no room on the deck after that shot, folks. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. Another strike. Two in a row now. Great execution on the last two shots. Looking for another strike now to get that turkey. Oh, just sailing along right now. Working off a triple, trying to make it a ham bone. Got the ham bone. Great release on that one. Very nice. Going for the five bagger. Picks up seven pins, leaving the three six ten. And no problem there. Well, another exciting night of bowling has come to a close. Thanks so much for joining us. Greetings, bowling fans. We're here at the Fayetteville Open. the strike to start it off. There's a nice shot and a nice result. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. <laughs> Leaves the 10 there. The 10 pin gets converted 95% of the time. Gets the spare here. Takes out seven pins. A very low conversion rate here. Fails to convert and left it open. It was a nice effort, just didn't put the ball where it needed to be. Ten down. Ten. 
Looking for two in a row. Seven count there. We'll see what happens here. It's just getting tougher and tougher. How do you recover, Randy? Well, sometimes you can't. You're just off your game. Beautiful shot there. Trying for the double now. Another strike. Two in a row now. Great execution on the last two shots. Looking to keep it going with the triple. And the seven does not go down. 93% conversion rate on the seven pin. No problem. There's a 9-10 split. Got the spare. Takes out eight pins, leaving the one and two. Easy conversion there. Left the seven pin there. Wow, another incredible event comes. Greetings, bowling fans. We're here at the Fayetteville Open in beautiful Fayetteville, North Carolina. Looking good out of the gate, Randy. So far, so good. Got a strike on the last turn. Strike. Two in a row now. Great execution on the last two shots. Looking for three in a row now. Strikes again. Feeling it now. Trying to keep this strike streak alive. Going for the hammer. The streak continues with four strikes in a row. Call it a hambo! Now we'll see if the streak extends to five. This is some good bowling, Rob. Picks up nine pins, leaving just the nine. Pros convert the nine pin 97.5% of the time. And no problem there. Takes out nine pin with just the six remaining. Doesn't get much easier than this. Six pin is picked up 97.5% of the time. Easy conversion there. That shot punched the words right out of me. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. 
two in a row now. We'll try and make it three in a row here. There's another strike. The turkey has been served. We're looking for the ham bone course right now. There's a nine count, leaving just the five. Pros on tour make this fair over 97% of the time. No problem. Knocks down nine pins there, leaving just the four. All right, that'll do it, folks. We hope you enjoyed all the bowling tonight.